Hi, Afonso from Bundle. As you may know, we're obsessed with corporate ventures because that's in fact what we do. And that's why we're launching What's in a Corporate Startup, and this is episode one, and I'm here with William DeVos, currently Product Innovation Manager at DP World, but we're here to speak about Parsify, a startup where he was employee number one. So, William, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Parsify, what was the problem in the market and what were you doing? The problem was really simple. People missing their parcels. E-commerce, you order something online and you're not home when it gets delivered. As simple as that. And what was happening in the market that made this, this is the right time, we got to solve this? Um, a couple of factors. One is mobility. Um, yeah, traffic jams here in Antwerp and in other cities as well. Ecological side, people want their parcels and other things delivered ecologically, as well as a lot more people are ordering online these days. Mm -hmm. So those four or five factors together made it the perfect time to start Parsify. Fantastic. And in terms of actions, how long was the process from incubation until you had an MVP, until you had a launch? I uh, think from incubation to MVP, um, which was not really the, the launch into the market itself, uh, we, we, we launched very quietly, uh, so to speak, with a couple of people. Um, it was more or less six months to getting it right, searching for how do we get the right hook into the market, which was the geolocation delivery. Uh, and it went from there. And uh, after six months, we launched small until we got a fancy new office and then we launched big for the press. And am I correct to infer at this point, you are an independent startup working on your own milestones to go to market? At that point, in Parsify. Yeah, exactly. Uh, at that point, we were completely independent. Uh, we had some um, seed investment of founders and uh, and we went from there and uh, it wasn't long before we attracted uh, interest of uh, large corporations. And that's where you start seeing that you became almost a corporate venture or something that they wanted to have part of their portfolio. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it was then when we noticed that not only we needed money to scale, but also we needed the strategic value of those big corporations, the, the infrastructure like the depots, etc., cetera, um, to get us off and uh, scale. I want to go into your role because it's really interesting. Employee number one, how did you get involved from day number one? And what few actions do you recall were critical to your success at Parsify? Um, one, I, I, I did a lot of different roles within Parsify. Started as an operation manager, then city manager, um, then I did product management and ended as a business analyst. Um, but as everybody in a startup, you do a bit of everything from HR to operations to making sure the coffee is filled and, uh, and stuff like that. Um, but in the beginning, what was really important for me as an operations manager was getting out there as well, getting on the bike, delivering to our clients, using our application um, and getting firsthand feedback back to the development team. And then you started seeing that this mothership potential acquisition was coming up to you. When you look at that big company looking at you, did you signpost any leveraged synergies you'd like to bring in and just make your business better? Yeah, for us it was the to make the operational scale uh, um, and, and make it efficient, we needed a lot of depots, a lot of parcel, uh, places where we can drop off the parcels. Because if we know your geolocation and it's, for example, in Birchem, yeah, and we always let your parcel deliver in Antwerp, that distance is a lot too, too much for a courier to handle. And yeah, of course, the big corporations, they have a lot of drop-off points. So that was one thing we really, really needed. Uh, don't tell them that. But <laughs> So you told us that Parsify's essence in the beginning was never miss a delivery, right? Yeah, exactly. Is that still Parsify's raison d'etre? Is that still... It changed a little bit um, after the, the merger with a, a corporate venture within uh, Bipos, which is um, uh, Bringer. It changed a little bit more to the uh, B2C uh, market of local retailers who mm. are in between large Bipos next day or two day delivery and yeah, doing it themselves. And that's where the, the, the social economy, uh, social legislation comes in and uh, yeah, Parsify has created a nice little niche in there. It also goes almost B2B to B to C to C again. Yeah, exactly. We went a bit more from e-commerce parcels the two, yeah, local shops and uh, ordering from your butcher, your bakery, et cetera, like ordering flowers and stuff like that. Well, what a journey. How long was this journey then from day one all the way until you left? Um, it was 
two years, two years and a half. Okay. And looking back, what was the one thing you would have done differently? For me, it was product feedback. Um, I think we, we did a lot of it, but it was really unstructured. And there we invited friends over and they're not going to be as critical as somebody's going to pay. And that was the major part. We, everybody loved the product. Everybody knew and needed the solution, um, but the willingness to pay. We didn't went to market and really tested the willingness to pay of the people. And of course, if you want to create a business, the business model needs to fit as well. Thank you, William. It was great having you here. Quick, snappy, but there you have it. You know, you want to build a successful business. You want to go through that acquisition phase, but you got to get on your bicycle. You got to be out there. You got to deliver it as well and learn what your product is doing. That was episode one of What's in a Corporate Startup. We work honored to have William here to let us know how Parsify was built. And you can also find out more about his views on entrepreneurship and more about the story on our other podcast channel on Entrepreneur Stories. We hope you tune in. Let us know if you have corporate ventures that you want us to focus on because we want to get better. We want to learn more and just keep the momentum going in 2019.